Hey guys, before we get into the video, I want to make sure that you know you're invited to my fairy fashion show tonight on Twitch. I'm Lemon Ginger Horizons on Twitch, twitch.tv. Um, so join us. It's at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to start on Twitch and the outfits are one fairy outfit of any kind, one blue themed outfit, and one outfit that you wish you had in real life for springtime. So I hope to see you there. Um, that's what I built this area for. And yesterday I posted the speed build of this little fairy walkthrough area as well. So I hope you enjoy the makeup video and I hope to see you tonight on my stream if you're into fashion shows. All right, let's get into the video. Hello, YouTube. How are you doing today? I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope this video finds you well. I want to, I don't know, do my makeup and talk about Animal Crossing stuff today because it's my channel and I can if I want to. Now, the Vampire Island story is done and I'm now turning into a blue fairy. So I'm all excited. I've got my blue shirt. I've got my earrings with blue on them and I've got like these butterfly clips and I wanted to like, I don't know, transform into a butterfly. So let's see how this yeah. goes. I asked on my Instagram story the other day, so make sure you follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I asked people what their favorite thing about Animal Crossing was. Just like, I wanted to see what people responded in a very open-ended sort of way. So the first response I got was coming up with new themes and building it and also making custom design outfits. Let me know if you guys like making custom design outfits or not. I feel like some people are really good at them and other people are just like done with it before they I, I mean I'm the kind of person where I'm just done with it before I even start I've made only like one custom design it was back when I did a fall theme for my island back in the fall and I made a green pumpkin dress because I made a green pumpkin castle I'll put a picture because I actually really loved that green pumpkin pet castle and I had so much fun making it. So I made a green pumpkin dress to go with it and then my friend Lily made me another one that was much cuter and I think I have a picture like of me wearing both of them. So if I find that, I'll put that on the screen as well. Um, but my some of my friends, they make amazing, amazing custom designs. They're so hard. And yes, theme building. I want to talk about theme building because... So did I, did I get it even? Did I get it even? I'm kind of not paying as much attention as I would be if I wasn't talking into a video. But theme builds, you guys, I had a conversation with someone also on Instagram. They were like, it was just too many items that we really loved and we didn't want to like not use some items just because they didn't fit in a theme. So it was like, and she, and she said, I just use only the items that I like, like a toddler. And I was like, LOL, but like, it's so true. And um, I did the same thing, like for my first like version of my island, um, before I started like consuming any kind of online community Animal Crossing content, I did like religiously watch Lex Play and Console Kato and some of our other bigger Froggy Crossing and Tiger, of course, some of our bigger Animal Crossing YouTubers. When I started watching them, that's when I decided to do, I'm trying to put this fake little, there we go. I used to have the real piercing, but now I just put a fake one in when I feel like it and it stays pretty well. So I'm gonna do a little bit of like blush, a little bit of contouring kind of business here. When I started watching them, that's when I decided to like do theme builds and I tried to do fairy core, but even with fairy core, this is the Butter Physicians Formula palette and again, a mess and it was dropped and the both of the highlighters were broken. So I actually just got a new highlighter yesterday that I'm gonna try, Makeup Revolution no idea if it's good or not but anyways so when i started watching them i decided to do a theme build but before that i just did kind of i guess it was kind of city core i really liked the in-game brick path so i used that quite a bit there really was no theme i think i had like 
a popcorn machine outside my nook's cranny, stuff like that. I actually refused to time travel for a long time and then it's like once you bite it you never go back. So I time traveled to cherry blossom season, I kind of lived in cherry blossom season and it was kind of fairy core because I put like Nova lights and stuff everywhere and mush lamps and stuff. So like my house was like kind of fairy core but also kind of like Japanese style, if that makes any sense. Um, and I, I loved it. I did really like release a dream address, but like I didn't really like tell many people about it. I There was one person on Instagram that like visited and reposted it and I thought that that was so cool. Please don't judge my contouring. I don't actually know how to do it. I just kind of do what I think looks like the pros do and then I just kind of blend it. So I love theme builds now though, now that I know the items well because now I think it's easier to come up with ideas. So I did Vampire Island and you think of something broad enough but then it still narrows stuff down where you feel like you can quote unquote finish an island. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys like building within a theme or would you rather just use items that you like and not worry about it too much? I think both are good. I have visited some really cool islands that have been up since launch or have been worked on since launch and they have a little bit of everything and they are really really cool too so i don't know what do you guys think another person said made a new friend like you oh and created your one safe place where you actually want to live irl oh my gosh i totally have that i'm gonna do some eyebrows i totally have that same feeling of like i wish that i lived here irl and i love that we can like build our dream like literally our dream places and spaces especially for me some of like the interiors like the bedrooms that I've made I'm like well I want this like to be real and like someday I want to like decorate my house to kind of like look at look like the things I made in Animal Crossing I love that I absolutely love that and the outside too if you make a total magical land and it's like this is my happy place this is my safe place and your island really does feel like home, doesn't it? I mean, it does to me. It feels like complete serenity of away from all of the bad things of regular life. I'm going to open an eyeshadow primer now. I just got, I've always used it, but I just got a new box of this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. It's the best eyeshadow primer potion, so you know. Another person said, redoing the island and making it your own. Yeah, where you, I love that whenever you don't like something, it's not like locked into place. You can just take it down and change it as much as you want. I also love that. I'm gonna just do a little bit of this and then it has to dry. I was very inspired by Jen from Fundy Fridays who does her makeup while she talks about Christian fundamentalism and I just want to do my makeup while I talk about things that interest me too. Um, her channel is super interesting to me. All that research, oh my god, I don't think I'm capable. I don't think I'm capable though. So I can talk about fun things in, in, my, in my favorite game though. I'm gonna make this dry. Designing and the adorable villagers. Yes, just designing anything, whether it's custom designs, the different areas, anything agree and yes the villagers oh my gosh i'm kind of like i had like a period where i was kind of like obsessed and i would watch all of the tier list videos for villagers and do we want to do a pink pink super pink lip you guys and then i like a sparkly gold lip gloss that i could put on top of it i have to open this too i went to the makeup store yesterday i went to ulta I had gift cards that I found while I was cleaning, so um, that's why we're doing this. Oh yeah, that's sparkly. I'm a sparkly, shiny, shimmery little fairy. Oh, wait till you guys see what I have for the eyes. The, yes, the villagers, the villagers, about the villagers. I went through like an obsession period 
where I was like obsessed with the villagers and I would watch all of the tier list videos and everything and I just love them and I wanted to have my first thing that I ever wanted to have was all of the deer villagers so I actually have like a lot of the almost all of the deer amiibos if not all of the deer amiibos and Judy and Julian were like my top like fairy core villagers um, and then all the other islands I've done since then, I've just tried to kind of have the villagers fit my island theme. But as you may know, my favorite of all time is probably, gotta be, has to be Poppy. I've literally written songs about her, so she's my favorite now. Let's put this pink on and see how we feel about it. All right, I think I'm down with that. I think I am very down with that. Wrapping up about the villagers. I love all of the villagers. I think that like the little fandom and the little, it's another part of building your own world where you get to like research all the different 400 villagers and find which personality types fit best with you or you can have one of each personality type and they are just so fun. I feel like that is one of the things that makes the game so intricate is like there's so many different names, personalities, different um, designs you can do for the villagers. Yes, I totally agree with that response. I love all of the villagers. Another person said, when the villagers celebrate your birthday, yes! I love when they do that. Seriously, I didn't know that that was a thing in Animal Crossing for a little while because I got it in Christmas and my birthday's in June. My birthday's June 29. And so a couple of my friends, because I didn't have Animal Crossing social media for a long time either. On my eyes, we're going to do Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Cowboy or Midnight Cowboy. I'm just like a demon just ripping it. This is like this really, I think it's called Ocean Eyes. It's like super blue. So I'm excited about that too. But yeah, so I didn't have Animal Crossing social media for a long time when I first started playing the game. So I didn't know this until I made one Animal Crossing friend on Facebook through an IRL friend that I have known that I used to work with. And she like posted that she had her birthday celebration from her villagers. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then when I started time traveling, I like accidentally time traveled over my birthday a few times. And so I celebrated my birthday a few times. I could not figure out how the heck in heck to um, hit the pinata for the longest time. Did anyone have that experience? I like couldn't figure it out. It was so funny. Okay, so we got a new eyeshadow palette, actually. We got LA Girl Pro. So we have a nice clean mirror here. I'm gonna take off this plastic. Another person just said decorating exteriors. What do you guys like? Do you feel pressured to do all of the island or do you only do kind of like the parts that you want to do? Um, Cause it's, I think it's totally fine to just do the parts that you want. So if you don't like to do interiors, you can f finish quote unquote an island and then restart or redo after you just do the exteriors if you don't like the interiors. Um, I don't really particularly like to do villager yards. Um, I think I'm gonna, whoa. That is really sticking that pigment. How are we gonna deal with that? Let's see. Maybe it's gonna be more blue than we think. The no another person said, the first playthrough when you don't know what's coming or how to do anything. Yes, I was so hooked in the beginning. Like so hooked. I think it's gonna be a lot of blue on top of that brown. I think that brown is just a transitional color. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Okay, it's a lot of blue. It's a lot of blue. So I didn't like look up any guides. I used to use like a guide for Pokemon, but I kind of like, I was enjoying playing so much and I was really taking my time that I didn't even really look up anything on how to do things. I just asked Tom Nook like, what should I do? And for the most part, I went off of that for a long time and then I looked up how to do some specific things afterwards after um like I think to get to the three star terraforming I did look up a little bit of a how to and then for fishing I really didn't know I didn't understand how to fish so in like my first couple of times playing I did look up a tutorial on how to fish I thought I thought it was so hard I don't know why 
I really thought it was hard. I didn't look anything up. I didn't know how long it took other people. Didn't know, didn't care. I was just, oh, if you didn't know, I got Animal Crossing as a Christmas present. And then my second daughter was born the day after Christmas. So I was just kind of like on maternity leave hanging out with my baby, playing Animal Crossing. So that's, I was just enjoying the newborn baby life and enjoying the heck out of Animal Crossing. So I don't know how I want to do this. No, bad idea. How is it? What's the damage? One person said how pleasant it is and therefore brings out positivity in the players. I love how positive the community is. I absolutely agree with that. It is so just so calming to play this game. It was just for me. It was very helpful for, for me, especially in the time that I was staying home because I had my, my daughter the very beginning of, it was a December 2020, so the very beginning of 2021 was still a lot of problems in the world where you weren't really able to go out as much as you were used to and for me it was really helpful for staying home staying calm staying relaxed just absolutely chilling the heck out and i feel like animal crossing brought me so much more chill than i would have had otherwise so i'm so thankful for that and yes, I didn't join like the online community for like a long time, but it is so positive. And I was just so, I was honestly baffled at all of the nice, wonderful people that I met. And it would, it made me so happy. And of course I became such a nerd that that's why I started making videos myself and streaming on Twitch and everything. Um, so it's been, it's been amazing. Y'all are amazing. Another person said, I love how I can be creative or not and still have fun. I think that was put wonderfully and beautifully. I completely agree because you can literally just like go fishing and it's relaxing. You can just, you can just walk around, talk to villagers, gift them. Uh, what I love about Animal Crossing is that it can take different like levels of focus in this topic of what this person said, I mean. Um, it can take like different levels of focus. You can be completely enveloped in it because you're creating something. I'm sorry I'm fixing these earrings again. They're annoying me. You can be completely creative, like completely enveloped in it and focus like a ton. Or you can just like walk around, kind of like be watching something on TV at the same time. My ADHD brain loves to have something to do with my hands while I am also paying attention to something else because my brain is ding, ding, dong, dong all over the place. And so that's been amazing for me. All right, ta-da, we have lashes. But you know what? I forgot to use, let me just make sure that that's in place. I forgot to use that sparkly Urban Decay liner stuff that I have. So I want to see if maybe that looks good on top of my black eyeliner. Okay, that's really freaking sparkly. Do you see the difference between the eyes now? I actually really like that. I would probably say the friends that I've made are the top best thing that happened out of playing Animal Crossing and joining the community. That's like the top, top, top. And the second most thing, which I probably wouldn't have even wanted to make friends or join the online community if it wasn't so relaxing to play and gave me like this whole zen kind of feel. Um, so relaxing and just such good vibes all around. And I feel like that's probably like a close second because one of my friends asked um, what your favorite thing about the game was on one of his posts and I, I said that like my friends but then I also love the designing of things and you know what maybe I should kind of brush it onto the lashes how do we feel about that and and then I he, he said something to the effect of would you still be playing if it weren't for the community and I said probably yes oh yeah now we have sparkly lashes and everything I'm so down with this I said probably yes because I just really love designing things and it's just it's so relaxing it's such vibes it's so good so 
I feel like that's like a close second for me is I just really vibe out with designing stuff. So I'm gonna fix this crease one more time because I got more eyeshadow into it. I got more of my eyeliner into it, I mean. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple finishing little touches. Butterfly clips. You know what, maybe one is better. All right, I feel like a little bit less ridiculous with just the one, so I think we're gonna just stay with one. All right, so I hope you guys liked this strange, weird type of video. Let me know if you liked reading the responses that I got from my my friends, my followers on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you want to participate with those kinds of things. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comments of this video, what are your favorite things about Animal Crossing? What got you hooked initially? What kept you playing? I want to know. I love to know all this Animal Crossing community kind of stuff. So I hope you have a great day, morning or night. Happy time zone. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.